always want to trade blockchain. So call me generous. Call me big hearted. Call me gravelly. <sighs> so, Troy, what's so bad in your lunch today? Well, the usual junk. Jack, I thought that was your favorite food group. Not this kind. Carrot sticks, apple slices, and boiled eggs. That's not a ducky lunch, that's a healthy lunch. Yeah, for a dentist. <laughs> Personally, I prefer my lunch that frosting on it. You can't live off sweets your whole life. Well, I can try. And what about Betty Crocker? She had a look how good she looks. And she lived on sweets her whole life. So what do you say, will you switch lunches with me? No. What? You're just going to sit there and let your best friend starve to death? Who said we're your best friends? <laughs> and you're not going to starve to death. You got a perfectly good one. It's high in fiber and vitamin packed. You should eat it and be happy. What I've got here is a salad bar in a bag. I need more than this, Karen. I need filling. I need frosting. I need fudge. You need carrots. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll go for the pity. I'm not about that. Karen, do you want to hear something depressing? Well, you know that you know that show and tell when I made that salt and flour map of Texas yeah. last week. Yeah. I ate it at recess. You made Texas? Just a panhandle. I would have put more if my fork didn't break. But man, that stuff dries like cement. That was a pretty stupid thing to do, Troy. I know. Especially with our gravy. But that's a star plan. And carrots should sound pretty good to you by now. I said I was starved, not delusional. <laughs> <sighs> so, what do you say, old buddy, old pal? Will you trade lunches with me? Sorry, old buddy, old pal. The answer is still no. And this is for your own good. For my own good? Where did you come with that one? Your father packed you a perfectly good lunch, and you should eat it and be happy. Yeah, I can't eat this. If I eat that, I will get cookie pneumonia. I will get, I will get what? Come down with cupcake deficiency? And I'll come weak and faint. And then they'll have to feed me ice cream through an IV. And I'll go ask Mark if he'll switch lunches with me. He wouldn't turn his back on a friend. Which is worse than mine. He's painted. He didn't paint. He's just bowing his head. Really? Why? To thank God for his food. He does it all the time before he eats. Well, he must have some really good in there. Actually, he does it every day before he eats. <laughs> you mean he would even thank God for carrots? Yeah, he appreciates good luck, which is more than I can say about some people I know. Hmm, I guess he's up. Hi, Mark. Does she have a pretty special lunch to go home? Why do you say that? Well, because you, you know, you took all that time to thank God for your lunch and everything. Well, I always pray for my food. Don't you? Thank him? Sure, I mean, you are grateful for your food. Are you? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I am, yeah. And you should tell him. I mean, you take a lot of time to say thank you. And we should all be grateful for whatever it is we have to eat. A lot of people in this world don't have anything. You know? Go ahead. Ask him. Yeah, I was just uh, wondering uh, if uh, you would, uh, if uh, you like. Here's as much as I do. <laughs> 